wanted to ask, tell, tell me um, what's been going on, what's been happening in terms of like True Love has just been released. How are you feeling right now that, that that's out there to the world and your process in making music right now? Because I'm sure there's a lot of things that you're cooking up that you have installed for us, us, as the, us being the audience. Well, I think for me, it's, it's been um, a period of, um, thankfully, before, you know, COVID-19 became a well, pandemic, like we had already recorded my fifth album. We were in Amsterdam and we had to return um, just so that the mind and body can feel, you know, at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, pretty much throughout this period, um, we've been going through the songs, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure that everything is is as it should be. Great, fantastic. How many songs on the album? Should I tell you or should I not tell you? It's up to you. <laughs> we always try to get some exclusives here. I mean, we don't need to know the name of the songs. We're just, you know, good variation. The biggest of- struggle, 15 songs on this beautiful album of mine. 15 um, songs? It's been quite a journey, yes. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Any features? Who of you course, got in store for you know, us? Who could you um, say? Like I would tell you, like I would tell you, you know the drill. <laughs> I mean, if you don't but ask, you don't say. guess. Yeah, if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, I must say I, that some of the features are features you would not expect at all. No, mm. I love it. I wanted to ask so as well from building off from your career, from Johnny, the release to how you are to this present day now. How would you say you have evolved as an artist? from that time till now. OMG, Woo, the evolution, the evolution is real. It's, mm. um, it, it's been days and weeks and months of this brain, um new side of myself as an artist, as a person, um, even discovering the world, traveling the world. And all these things have come together to influence my music every day. Beyonce, collaboration, Black is King. Not one song, but two songs mm-hmm. on there. Yemi, talk to me about this, please. Sure. Yeah, talk to me about it. what was you feeling? Firstly, no. how the first contact with Beyonce? How did that happen before you go into the songs? Well, my sweet sister, big yeah. sister B. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Beyonce had um, Beyonce had a team contact my team. At first, we thought it was a scam. We didn't believe that it was you know for real. And then close to the, almost at the end of the, the, the compilation of music, when they had gotten to about 150 songs, um, we decided to believe that it was for real because I know Ivy Park, but I, 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 you have to be like a real fan to know some things. And when I, when we eventually responded, um, so yeah, and that's when we went to the Parkwood office in Los Angeles and then we recorded the music. And, mm-hmm. you know, just being with her direct team, it just really uh, felt great. To be mm-hmm. sincere, um, we were treated as the royalty that we are giving. You know how some people like to give some people the African treatment. Oh, they yeah, don't yeah. know anything, or as in that. Oh, these ones they are coming from the bush, because a lot of us are very well traveled, yeah, yeah, very exactly. well educated, you know. And it, it felt good, you know, um, to be representing. I feel like we were carefully chosen, not just because we are Africans, but because we are doing exceptionally well. Yeah. Being on the song, on these two songs, definitely a dream come true because I've always looked up to woman, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, a great and amazing feeling. And, and obviously now that it's out released, the world has responded and it's been great. Um, it's been just amazing to watch and hear the songs that's been released and just, yeah, incredible time and incredible moment, incredible moment for Black people around the world. Um, yeah. What are your responses to people that complain about US acts um, sort of embracing Africa now? What are your responses to those? Because there's people that have a negative spin on why are they claiming us now? Why do they, do you know what I mean? I'm sure you've seen a couple yourself. What are your response to that? The most recent one, I'm going to say, the most recent accusation was to Beyonce for the fact that she's, you know, taking the African culture and exploiting it and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And it's not her culture, ETC. And the question is, look at this woman, look at her family. Are they African? Africans born and raised in um, America by, you know, we can check history and we can realize and we will realize why they are there. I'm I'm saying this because, you know, some people tend to forget or act like they don't know. So I feel like it's, those are the few people making a lot of noise and a lot of negative noise, but those who really know, understand what this symbolizes, 
This is what our great, 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 great grandfathers and mothers would be excited to see that the children are returning to their roots. We should encourage, you know, mm. these people to, to these um, African Americans to realize exactly. who they truly are. And I think for someone of her status, like Beyonce, to jam the entire world, so to say, and to mm. proclaim and to announce that she knows where she's from and it's African and it is not a thing of shame. It's yeah. definitely a beautiful thing to behold in my time, in my generation, and to be part of such a movement. It's quite okay. a legacy. Exactly. Exactly. And I feel like people need to be more open minded to the fact that um, if someone who is an outsider who may not know of their heritage but has now found out and now claim that they are African, it should be embraced embrace them shouldn't shut them out she embrace them um the collaboration has clearly opened new doors i know you said that you mentioned earlier that there'll be some people on the album that we would not expect you have collaborated with so my question to you is um what would be your dream collaborations yeah. now because you've done queen b and we know queen b's you know the 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 you know top but other than queen b who else would you do Bruno Mars. Oh, okay. Don't let me start singing on here for you. Yeah, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bruno Mars. Um, Incredible singer. I think, I think Rihanna might just, you know, start her, her comeback to music with the collaboration with me. You know, that can happen. She um, needs to. I've missed her so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yes, those two for now. I love Chris okay. Brown, though. Like, my list is long. I can go on and on and on. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. So Chris Brown, Bruno Mars, Rihanna, top picks, top picks. Incredible songs. Imagine that collaboration. Yeah. Or maybe that's something that she's telling uh, us secretly. Let's leave it at that because my yeah. list is too long. Maybe she's uh, telling uh, us secretly. Who knows? Uh, uh, we got to wait for this new album. <laughs> 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 Afrobeats is in such a great time right now. The world have the eyes on Africa and Afrobeats as a world, as a genre. We are taken seriously more so now more than ever. It's a great time to be African, but more, more importantly, it's a great time to have playlists and songs of artists that we love in competing. You know what I mean? Just in that field yeah. of where, oh, we like this song, we like that song, and it's Afrobeats. Um, yeah. What do you want to see from the genre itself moving forward? How can we progress? Well, I, I think that um, Afrobeats is doing very well for, for herself. You know, I'm also super... Um, honored to be part of the movement to contribute to this you know vine of, of greatness in my own time there's a lot of collaborations going on between um, African artists and you know the rest of the world it's it's not like it's Africa it's it's now Africa's time Africa's time has always been the world has just only taken notice of the fact that there's so much more you know um, that lies within Africa. And, and I'm happy that a lot of artists are beginning to, you know, shoot videos here and, you know, to understand that the notion they had of what an African should be is totally different from, you know, what we really are. I would want moving forward for Afrobeats for um, us to continue to stay authentic because once we lose the sound, we've lost Afrobeats. Like, yeah. Afrobeats is a genre of music. It is known by the sound itself. I mean, it, it, like it's okay to mix and match and, you know, recreate Afrobeats because that is what it's supposed to be. My last question would have to be this. What is the title of your album, Yemi? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what did you say? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I would be curious to know, but I'm, I'm glad you, you've given us a variation that we should probably expect around 15 songs. Um, the collaboration. Well, the last album was called Woman of Steel. What, what would you think this one should be? It would be something based around Africa. If it, you said that you finished recording, that it's now ready to go, I think it would be, oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You can't put that pressure on me, Yemi. I don't know. Oh, I don't know but you because, can put the pressure oh, on me, right? <laughs> If I was in the rooms with you creating this music and just listening to how you're making the music that's going to be on the album, then yeah, I would have an idea, but I haven't been in the rooms with you. Okay, smart reply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very smart individual. But um, what, what I am excited about this is the fact that you, the album is finished, it's here, and I know that what you're producing from tracks that you have released already with Boys and True Love, um, 
we're in store for a treat. We're in store for something amazing. Um, is that something that's going to be happening this year, though? Or is that going to be at the top of next year? Oh, no. It's, the album is definitely for this year. 2020. The album is definitely. I okay. got to live in great. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oof. And I'll yes. take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know, we're in September right now. I will take that. So you heard it here first, thatgreatjuice.net. You know, I had tried to get some more exclusives, but this is what Yemi can give. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Yeah. And Yemi, have a lovely yeah. day. Um,